Hello friends, welcome to the next lecture of security of MAC and hash functions. Now guys, here in this lecture, we need to learn about what the security measures are there and on what particular measures the security of these hash and match MAC functions are dependent on. We already know that MAC and hash functionalities are being implemented with the, crypto, with the encryption algorithms to implement dis digital signatures which then enhances the security of the data, which then enhances the security of the plain text. So basically, we can say that the security of hash and MAC depends upon the size of the key, how it is being implemented, and what particular type is being implemented for the generation of the digital signatures and how the crypt analysis and the, the brute force type of the attack then can be implemented on the hash and mac and which then can breach the security of these two functions so let's begin with it for the security of mac just as with encryption algorithms and hash functions we can group attack on macs on two different categories those are brute force type of the attacks as i just told you and the cryptanalysis and we're all aware of these two concepts how these type of the attacks takes place a brute force attack on a mac is more difficult undertaking than the brute force attack on hash because for a brute force attack on mac it requires more known message tag pairs and knowing of these message tag pairs for the mac is not a very easy task but the brute force type of attack can happen because then it is considered as the exhaustive key search type of the attack for which the attacker can utilize its own ways to find out the keys but if the key is of bit uh, like if the key is of uh, more number of bits then it becomes next to impossible for any attacker to implement the brute force type of the attack on the mac functionalities security of mac like block ciphers have brute force attacks exploiting with the following points which can have strong collision res resistance hash and that can have a cost of 2 to the power of m by 2 what does it basically means is just as with the uh, symmetric and public key encryption, we can uh, group the attacks into two categories as we have already defined them. And we have seen that the MAC is a uh, brute force attack on MAC is more difficult than the brute force attack on hash because the strength of the hash function against the brute force attacks depends solely on the length of the hash code. And this length of the hash code is produced by the algorithm and this algorithm costs around 2 to the power of m by 2 for the hash functions to be produced and basically this is nothing but depends upon the size of the message which then can consider as the cost and the brute force attack on mac has the host which can be then related uh, to minimum of 2 to the power of k or 2 to the power of n k can be considered as the key size and small n then can be considered as the message length similar to the symmetric encryption algorithm it would appear reasonable to require that the key length and the mac length so that's what the k and the small n key length and the mac length satisfy the relationship which is minimum of k and n should be greater than or equal to capital n here it is not given but just for the explanation i'm just telling you capital n then then can be considered as the complete message length and then or it can be even considered as the complete key size length and that length should be at least in the range of 128 bit and then only we can say that this is the needed length of the key for the security of the mac 
cryptanalysis attacks exploits the structure like block ciphers wants brute force attacks to be the best alternative and rather than the cryptanalytic attack more variety of max are so harder to generalize about crypt analysis what does it mean as with the encryption algorithms crypt analytic attack on hash functions and mac algorithms seek to exploit some property of the algorithm to perform some attack other than the exhaustive search and exhaustive search we know that exhaustive search is nothing but the brute force the way to measure the resistance of a hash or mac to crypt analysis is to compare its strength its strength is then compared to the effort required for the brute force attack that is an ideal hash or mac algorithm will require crypt analytic effort greater than or equal to the brute force effort there is much more variety in the structure of mac than in hash so it is difficult to generalize about crypt analysis of max so the point is very clear here that more variety of max are harder to generalize and therefore the crypt analysis is difficult on of mac and therefore block ciphers wants the brute force attacks to be the best alternative to breach the security of the mac so we can say that depending up, as i told you that depending upon the key size depending upon the exhaustive search type then the securities can be breached with any of these two different variants but it is observed that the brute force attack only is considered as the best alternative to breach the security of the mac similarly for the security of the hash functions the cryptanalysis attack exploits the structure like block block ciphers it wants to be the best alternative and for the hash functions it has the number of analytic attacks also because the implementation of the hash functions depends upon the iterations because they do implement on the iteration based modes so if we consider this equation of cvi is equals to the function f which is then implemented on the ith block of the m with the values for the values till i minus 1 that means still we cover the length of the complete message then we implement the hash functionalities to get the complete cipher text to get the complete signature typically it focuses on the collisions in the functions and we know that how the hash functions are being implemented with the collisions like block ciphers is often composed of rounds so attack exploits the properties of the rounds round functionalities for the hash functions like we have seen in the previous uh, lectures like for the sha also for cmac for hmac it implements the different iterations it implements the different iterations with the hash functionalities with the for the different number of rounds and we have seen that how the bits are being then collided or how they are being padded to equalize the length equal to the b bits and how that uh, complete function functionality takes place to implement the complete hash functionalities so basically the security of the hash functionalities lies there itself how the collision is ta being taking place in the function how the rounds are being implementing those functionalities and if that particular functionality is being attacked or if that particular functionality is being hacked then it is very easy to breach the security of the hash functions and therefore here also it is considered that blocks are brute force attacks to be the best alternative for the hash functionalities because the collisions in the functions then have to be attacked so like block ciphers is often composed of the rounds so brute force type of the attacks exploits the properties of the round functionalities which are then implemented to find the hash of the encrypted messages which are then used for implementing the signatures 
so all in all we can say that the functionalities are being attacked by any of the two variants that is script analysis or the brute force depending upon how they are being implemented and obviously here the key size plays a very important role as we have seen in the lecture so security of the hash and the mac functions depends upon the way they are being implemented and with the key size with which they then produce the hash functionalities or hashed output of the encrypted message i just hope that you guys have got the concept of security of hash and mac and how that security can be breached thank you